Again? Hmm. So... The microphone got stuck off again. Great. Well, I'm going to use this point to... <laughs> I'm having all the delightful technical issues recorded this twice well I recorded the section twice and then apparently the microphone still acted up so long story short the first time the microphone wasn't registered by the program the second time the microphone was apparently muted by the program and I've saved since then so I can't rewind it's only a five minute thing so excuse that um, I basically recapped what I did in the other episode uh, mentioned that there's a way through the Tesla gates they have a cooldown somebody told me that if you trigger it and then run back and then run forward you can go through it before the capacitors charge again 
which is why I was looking for a Tesla gate and how to get through it. Also mentioned that since 106 had just appeared that he shouldn't come back for a little while. And uh, that me being near his corrosive patches on the map made him show up on the radar. And a few other just random tidbits. And I also went off on a diatribe questioning what Stendhal syndrome was. I couldn't remember what S uh, SCP whatever painting's number was, and then me trying to run away from the painting and saying that it wouldn't let me close my eyes. And You, you, get, you, you get what happened. Or you saw what happened. Let's close that door for safety's sake. Oh, I see. Let's see. Oh, 1074. SCP-1074 is to be kept in a frame with an opaque cover in a locked archive room at Site-342. No personnel are to view under any circumstances, with the exception of D-Class personnel undergoing testing. This place sounds a lot like, uh, Aperture. <laughs> Only let test subjects experiment with stuff. Uh... Any photography or video recording of SCP-1074 is to be conducted by a remote-controlled drone. In the event of accidental viewing, subject is to be dosed immediately with Class A amnesiacs and removed from the area. The person exposed shall report for psychiatric analysis every two days and receive additional amnesiacs as necessary for as long as the onset of exposure symptoms can be prevented. 1074 is a portrait-sized oil painting on canvas produced by an unknown artist. When photographed or videotaped, the entirety of SCP-1074 appears to be a painted paint a to be painted a uniform shade of gray with distinctly visible brush strokes. Samples removed by a remote controlled drone have been identified as oil-based gray paint of the type commonly available in art supply stores in the United States. When 1074 is viewed by a human being, the observer immediately begins to exhibit physiological symptoms similar to the onset of Stendhal syndrome, including increased heart rate, sweating, and vertigo. The individual will attempt to vividly describe the image they are seeing to anyone present, frequently describing it as the greatest or most moving work of art they have ever seen. Statements from persons affected describe it not as a blank gray canvas, but as a highly detailed painting of an inconsistent nature. Once viewing it, the subject will not willingly turn their gaze from it unless physically restrained, and will attempt to convince anyone else in their presence to look at it as well. Subjects will become rapidly disoriented and dis detached, attempting to discuss philosophical questions raised by the painting. Of an increasingly esoteric nature, as the exposure continues, within three to five minutes of first exposure, the subject will become catatonic and cease respond to all outside stimuli. So, uh, yeah. Don't look at the painting. There we go. I put away the radar by accident. But yeah, that's how you deal with that, clearly. This is how you get past that door over there that said the button did nothing. Yeah, you know, there's one bright side. 173 c cannot spawn behind you because by the game's own rules, if it spawned out of your line of sight, it would instantly kill you or fly towards you at high speed. Plus that makes it all the more creepy, doesn't it? Um... But yes, let's let's not. I don't know which way I am. Oop, oop, another room. Uh SCP twelve. Key card required. I have an omni key card, so Oh, that's, that's, that's not encouraging at all. I don't know what 12 is. Is 
Sorry, all that sound is creeping me out. SCP, SCP, I can't say that to save my life. 12 is to be kept in a dark room at all times. If the object is exposed to light or seen by personnel using a light frequency other than infrared, remove personnel for mental health screening and immediate physical. Object is to be encased in an iron shielded box suspended from the ceiling with a minimum clearance of 2.5 meters from the floor, walls, and any openings. It was retrieved by archaeologist K.M. Sandoval during an excavation of a northern Italian tomb destroyed in a recent storm. The object, a piece of handwritten musical store entitled On Mount Golgotha, part of a larger set of sheet music, appears to be incomplete. The red-slash-black ink was later found to be human blood from multiple subjects. Following initial investigations, multiple test subjects were allowed access to the score. In every case, the subjects mutilated themselves in order to use their own blood to finish the piece, resulting in subsequent symptoms of psychosis and massive trauma. Those subjects who managed to finish a section of the piece immediately committed suicide, declaring the piece to be impossible to complete. Attempts to perform the music had resulted <laughs> in a disagreeable cacophony, with each instrumental part having no correlation or harmony with the other instruments. Ugh. Uh, that's not good. I'm guessing that's a recording of it. Go! He ran straight towards it. Do we really want to? For the sake of completeness. <gasps> Holy, what was that? You saw that too, right? A severed hand. Like, I mean... Just creepy, creepy and a half there. It was like when I opened my eyes, I saw something fly across the screen. Hope that's not something that I should have known about. But yes, for completeness. I don't need the description of that. Empath, sorry. Description of that is unpleasant for me. Excuse that. Weather alert. Apparently the phone makes loud noises. I'm glad that distracted me. I didn't see anything further than you tear. Yeah, it sounds like he's going a bit insane. It'd be a very bad idea to save at this point. Oh, another line appeared. I wonder what would happen if you kept healing yourself infinitely. Would it finish it? It's not pleasant at all, is it? Load? Okay. So, uh, we found a hand. So let's not go in there. Slightly creeped out by the fact that I saw something in the Oh, that's not good. Have I gone this way?
Oh, it's the other Tesla guy. And I've been through there before, so let's not. I think 173 is on the other side, but I believe also as a statue, 173 can and will go through Tesla gates. The architect. Oh no. Let's let's see what biohazard mount. Well. Mount Golgotha, we found that. Corrosion, been there. Anti meme. Prescription, ring it, grave, key, stain, jewel, refinery. I found the refinery. Found the infinite loop. Found a builder bear. What is a builder bear? It's not going to kill me, is it? Heavy containment zone. Oh, that worries me. I also want to know what that bear does. No, do I really want to know? Not really. So we just came from light containment. Okay, this place is dark. I don't like that. Is this is an elevator? It is an elevator indeed. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Oh great, one seven three is in the area too. I'm about to die. Dang it, I blinked. I'm so dead. Yeah, he's coming towards me. Oh! Maybe. Ha <laughs> I think it reset it. Oh, this place is so annoyingly dark. That's where I hear breathing. I'm, I'm staring at the... <laughs> reminds me a little bit of League. I'm staring at the bottom right corner of the map. Map awareness! Oh no! I, I'm afraid that 106 is going to find me up here. Or that some... I swear I hear breathing. Okay, he's disappeared off of there at least. Bright side, night vision goggles. Unbright side, don't has battery. Oh, 
too. <laughs> okay. I uh, didn't think you could randomly find those. Okay, those are good to hang on to. I, I honestly thought there was like a bottle full of them, not just one pill, but sure, if there's 47 of them just scattered through the game. On that lovely note, I'm going to go ahead and pause here for the sake of my sanity, so I will see you next time.